The Idaho City Wildcats take the field for the very first time in a matchup against Marcy. <laughs> And it didn't take long to witness the joys of playing America's pastime. I grew up playing baseball until I got to high school because we had a little league team. And I used to play in Boise, and then I played for a couple years up in Idaho City. But then when high school rolled around, there was nothing to do in the spring but track. We are starting from ground zero. We had nothing. But thanks to an $11,000 donation from Dick's Sporting Goods, and the school district raising money, the boys were able to play baseball and the girls could play softball. It feels great like to get on the field, to uh, get dressed up, especially during like these uh, trying times, like just, uh, just to hang out, play a sport, uh, look good, go out there and try our best. Noah Erb got Idaho City's first hit, and in the second inning, Thomas Luthi struck out the side, stranding two Marsing runners who were on second and third with nobody out. It's so much fun just to come out here, play baseball, and I'm just so uh, thankful that we had this opportunity to do it. Both teams showed a little bit of rust in the first game of the season. Plus, the Idaho City kids haven't played baseball for a few years. They have to practice in a gym because they still have snow on the ground up there. Touch the bag! But despite the challenges, they were ecstatic to play in Memorial Stadium, where several big leaguers got their start in the minors. It feels really good. It feels nice uh, to know that there's that many people that care about us and care about us having sports. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.